Here's how to tighten up Knight's Armament rail panels using some Permatex Ultra Black Gasket Maker. You'll see on the side with the clip, it's a nice well-defined Picatinny shape. On the other side, there's these large round cutouts and that's where the wobble is. So we're going to be laying a bead of this silicone inside this groove and that'll prevent side to side movement. So we're going to first want to clean it out really well. I've just got some isopropyl alcohol. And we're just going to clean out the round really, really well. It's not a permanent bond, but the better you clean this, the longer it's going to hold. So once that's pretty clean, you can open up your gasket maker. And you can overdo it, and you'll be fine. Uh, we're going to be using a Q-tip um, to smooth it out. So I'm just going to squeeze a bead. Just like that. And then to smooth it out, you could use your finger. I find a Q-tip and just lightly dampening it in a cup with the isopropanol and dry it off. And then we're going to use the top rib as a guide to help smooth it out. And I'm just going to drag it along that rib. And you've got a nice smooth bead. We can do it again and smooth it out even further. like that and you'll have some excess hanging off the end you can grab another q-tip clean it up and then I don't like a hard wall where it's going to catch when you're sliding it on so I'll just take some damp q-tip and then I'm going to just drag it along the corner to make a nice ramp entrance you can see there's now a bead in there and you can see how that round is filled up with RTV. You might need to do it once or twice to figure out how much silicone you need. I like to do about this much, and then I'm going to do the same exact thing to the other side. And that seems to be about the right fit for me. So I'll just squeeze this again. We'll take another damp Q-tip and drag it so you get a nice even bead like that. You'll have some excess on the end, clean that up, and then I'll do the ramp so that it's a smooth transition. Just drag it out like that. Now you can see there's even beads on each side. Now the cure time is 24 hours for a full cure and it'll start to harden up after about an hour but I would wait the full day before putting it on your rail but that should be all you need to get it to not wobble around on your rail.